What's up guys? Today I'm going to share with you how I bought 8 properties in just 3 years. I got interested in investing in property when I was much younger. That time, my family had no money. My father was going through a very tough financial patch. Every time I wanted to buy something, a toy or whatnot, I would ask my mom, and the answer that she would give me is wait for a while at the end of the month when we get the rental, let's see if I can buy that for you. From then, it got me really interested in property investing because I learned, no matter how tough a situation you may be, but if you got a property rented out, it can continuously generate you income. So, as I grew up, I've decided I'm gonna invest in property and become a landlord just like my mom. When I first graduated and started out on property investment, it was actually confusing as hell. I had no idea about how to identify a good property. And because of that, I actually missed out on some really profitable property deals. But eventually, I learned the ropes and managed to confidently buy 8 properties in a short period of time. Without further ado, let me share with you some tips when it comes to property investing. At the end of this video, I'll also bring you guys to visit the first property that I ever bought and share with you guys why I bought it and how I bought it. Hopefully, this helps you in your property investing journey. Let's Let's go. Tip number one, the location of the property. When it comes to investing in a property, it's important to look for areas with high demand because demand is what helps increase the value of your property, whether it's in the form of rental or property prices. Locations with high demand usually come with good schools, commercial activities and retail activities nearby because having such amenities will make it a vibrant community for people to live in, further attracting people to live in the place. Therefore, increasing the demand of the property in that location. This will create a whole positive cycle that further drives up the property price. Tip number two, connectivity. How easy it is to get to your property. If it's difficult to access to it, it's going to be tough for the residents and businesses to settle there. Look for properties that are highly connected, close to major roads and highways, as well as public transport like the MRT or LRT. Think of area like Damansara, how it turned out to be a high value real estate. This was when multiple major roads were built around it like LDP, NKVE, Sprint and so on. You can also look at another example like Subang, how the real estate prices dropped up when LRT stations were built there. Such connectivity make it convenient for people to get to the property and get around the area. This will further lead to property prices increase. Here's one more tip that you may not have heard of. Look for a McDonald's. Yes, that's right. McDonald's is actually a big player in the property game. They conduct studies on population and location before opening an outlet in the area. If there's a McDonald's in the area, probably a good sign. It often means that the area is going to have high food traffic and chances this food traffic is going to come from the growth in the population from nearby areas. So, for a property investor, this would mean higher demand and increase in property value. Usually when a property ticks all these boxes like good location, near Oati and McDonald's, it can be quite expensive, especially new projects. But recently, this one project captured my attention because it did not just tick all these boxes, but it's an affordable housing project. And we are not talking about this kind of affordable housing. We are talking about a well-designed service apartment with great unit layout. Most affordable housing will have at least one room that has no window or a window without view la. But for Sarasi residents, all rooms have windows with a view. I guess that's the result when you hire an award-winning architect for the job. He designed many very atas projects. They are very beautiful. It's probably one of the most premium affordable housing that I've seen so far. In fact, the only affordable thing is the price tag that starts with less than 300,000. If you're interested to find out more, do check out via the link below. The next tip, financing. Unless you're buying a property with cash, chances are you will need to secure financing from the bank. You need to understand how bank evaluates your finances and how they decide to give you a loan or not. Understanding that will give you great advantage in your ability to secure loan. There's many factors to consider, but one most important thing is your ability to show proof that you can pay back your loans. As long as you have proof that you have a strong cash flow coming in, there's way higher chances for you to secure a loan. And there's no shortcut to this. The last tip before we move on to look at the first property I bought is to have a clear goal in your mind. Yes, you need to have a solid reason for buying a property. Whether is it to generate a steady income or for long-term investment purpose. Very often, I see people buying properties without any clear goal or master plan in their mind. Sometimes they'll just tell me this, uh, if I cannot sell, then I'll rent out. Law. If I cannot rent out, then I stay in it. Law. That's probably not a very good strategy because ultimately different types types of property will be suited for different goals. Without a clear goal in mind, even a good property 
can end up being the worst investment for you. Once you have a clear goal in mind, it's much easier to focus and make smart decisions when it comes to property investing. So to put all of this together, I think it's best that I show you the first property that I bought. Let's go. Hey guys, right now we are at Daman Sara Damai. This is where I bought my first property. Let's start by talking about the location. This place is situated at the borders of Sungai Bulo and also Banda Sri Daman Sara. It is along the way of heading to Kuala Selangor. Just about 5 minutes drive away from Kota Daman Sara and Banda Sri Daman Sara. So it's a pretty mature location. When I first started investing in property, this place was not a well-known area yet. But when I came here, a few things caught my attention. Firstly, there was already a McDonald's. And the next thing is there's also a petrol station here. Not just here, a shell. The other side there, there is another one more Petronas. Right there, if you see that building there, that is actually a school. All these are telling us one thing. There is a huge amount of population here. After I bought this place, a few years later, an LRT station was built right behind there. If you walk across the road, you will be able to reach there in about 10 to 15 minutes just by walking. Here's the first property that I bought. Okay, as you can see, you cannot expect some sort of uh, expensive apartment vibe, right? Even the lights are not well maintained and people who stay here are definitely in the more B40 community. And it's a walk-up apartment. As I'm walking up, I can smell, catch it. <laughs> it definitely doesn't feel like a great environment. you are probably wondering why did I buy an apartment here because many times when I bring people over here they will wonder can you even rent out the place and if you rent it out will you be able to collect rent easily is there even a demand for such a property wouldn't people want to stay in a nicer place now let's revisit those tips that we talk about all this tells you one thing there are people who wants to live here and the population is growing when I came and looked for this place I recall many people were desperately trying to sell off the property because they felt that it is a dead area, it is not really growing and so on. But I knew at the point that LRT is going to be built just very nearby. Not just the LRT, MRT that is built nearby. In fact, the MRT right now is walking distance, just 10 minutes walking from here. But most importantly, this particular location and this apartment aligns with my goal of investing. I want a property that can be easily rented out and can cover my installment rate. And naturally, this apartment here fits exactly what I need. The rental rates are pretty good. In fact, it is cash flow positive for me. I don't need to pay a single dollar. It covers my installment for me. Number two, it is very near to a McDonald's, just walking distance. So there will be demand for people to live here. It makes it easily rented out. Number three, because it is not an expensive unit, means people who are living here, they are looking for basic living. Somewhere that is nearer to PJ area, but within this price range. So it's not like they have a lot of choices. This makes it a perfect place for me to rent out to people, making it the perfect property for my investment portfolio. Eventually, I actually bought three units here. So that was the first property that I bought. For those of you who are investing in property or thinking about starting your property investing journey, I hope this video benefit you. And if you like it, do hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification. And also do share with us what other tips about property investing that you've learned. Share it with us in the comments below. See you next time.